Hey guys, it's me Libby. I know I usually don't do uh, food reviews as me, but guess what? Special day. Very special day. Special day. We have a special guest. Usually it's, hey, I'm Crystal, and I'm here with my food reviews and other things. And today's other thing is James Stokes. Guess what, everybody? I'm not, Daniel set this up, right? <laughs> I wouldn't have set this up because I'm terrified of scary movies. He doesn't know that about me. He played... I don't look scary, though, do I? No. Not he right now. He plays Jason in the spooky films, and he has the mask, and I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Don't be scared. And what, what weapon does he have? Machete. Machete, okay. So if you were to say, like, let's branch off and use a different weapon, what, what other weapon would you choose? Oh, Jason's used everything from uh, axe to bow and arrows to, I mean... Uh, so he's a, he's a sophisticated oh, weaponier. 100%, yes. Wow. Jason will take anything and make it a weapon. Wow. Including his hands. So he's, essentially he's a nice Christian man. 100%. Okay, good. He'll take your own arm off and beat you with it. That's 100%. <laughs> He'll put you in a sleeping bag and throw you up against the tree. I mean, that's just the way it is. <laughs> now, do you think that Jason could pick up a gal my size? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you got to have guns, but I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm here for the gun show. Yep. I'm just there saying. Yeah. Now, today we're at a place called Mama's Kitchen. Who would think that we would be sitting with a diabolical killer in a place called Mama's Kitchen? It's so sweet. We've never heard of this place before today, but we're excited because... Here in Nashville, there's two locations. There's one in Goodlettsville and this one in Gallatin. Gallatin. And mm -hmm. I've lived here a year and I've called it Gallatin. So I just Gallatin. learned that it's Gallatin. Gallatin. Yes. Yes, we have two locations in Gallatin and one in Goodlettsville. And it's called Mama's Kitchen. Uh, we're a meat and three, uh, home cooking. Everything's made scratch. So it's really good food. And it's different food every day? Uh, just about, yeah. We have set we have a set schedule of when we do salmon patties and when we do fried chicken and stuff. That way, our regulars know when to come and, and what we're having that okay. day. Cool. Every day, he puts on uh, on the, the telephone and sometimes on Facebook what our menu is. So okay, we tried to find the menu, couldn't find it. Yeah, yeah. You just call the number here and it's it automatic to tell you what we have in that. Awesome. I would be honest, I'm calling. So. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> then you just have to show up. <laughs> And the yep. owner is Jim. Correct? It is. Yep, Jim the Clark. Gym. Yep, Jim Clark's the owner, and, and some biscuits. Um, his part partner is Brian Baker at the other one over in Gillisville. So, yep, yep, and uh, I help out whenever I'm in town and nice. not doing anything else. Yep, or if he needs it, uh, they're like my brothers, and I'd do anything in the world for them. Oh, so what are we doing? So we are actually popping James's mukbang chair, food review chair. And so, yes. um, he did not know that you're not supposed to eat it. Oh, before. That's all right. <laughs> I'm just giving you shit. He, does, he doesn't Big know. Big job, man. I got to eat. <laughs> I mean, it's hard. Man. I mean, I've been sneaking bites. I'm going to be honest. Hey. <laughs> I, ch I chose the lasagna, mashed potatoes, and carrots. Big cooked carrots fan. What do you got, James? Uh, me. I've got uh, chicken casserole with broccoli, pinto beans, and mac and tomatoes. Nice. Along with cucumber and onion. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, special day, so I'm foregoing my diet today to do this mukbang with you guys. So, um, chicken the chicken casserole and the potatoes and the lasagna. Mm -hmm. And then we look, we got uh, some dessert, bread some bread pudding. pudding. Yes. Did you want one of the? Oh yeah, pie? there was pie. They're gone. Uh, they might be gone already. I'll right. have to eat the bread pudding, and I, I'm Is scared there? of it. I've never had bread pudding at week. Then we got some uh, biscuits. What kind of biscuits? Cornbread. Cornbread, cornbread, cornbread muffins. Yep. All right. Or muffins. Yep. Mm -hmm. So yep. I actually have meat in one, two, three, four. I have meat in four. Yeah. Because I have got <laughs> potato salad, uh, yep. pasta, and I'm ready. I'm honestly ready to try the mix. The Absolutely. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm going to go with the chicken casserole. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You can tell it's homemade. It's just the seasoning. I mean, it's just the way he cooks it. It's, it's, it's mm. amazing. This ain't box stuff right here. Mm -mm. No. Scratch. Mm. Yeah. Oh. No. Oh, oh thank, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Mm. 
so it's a, mm. yeah. Get a close up. Mm -hmm. Now, I was actually in two horror films myself. You were. Called Baby Oopsie. And these are in the Full Moon franchise. Are you familiar with Full Moon? Mm hmm. Um, I played a woman that. Um, the star. The Leonard Fulia. She yeah. was the star of the show. I played a woman who. Um, I don't doubt that one. Had, do had a doll that became a diabolical, by a diabolical killer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well. But none of the dolls were animated when I was acting with them. I don't think I could have done it had they been animated because it's <laughs> absolutely terrifying. Do you go to, um. That's what Tammy does. Tammy taps it. She just showcase to get up close and, uh, and showcase the food. Yeah. Tammy's funny. Can't wait to meet her. I think you and her can make some great TikToks together. Mm. Mm. We have, and we have some questions for you from our fans. Cook carrots. No. They're sweet. They're a little sweet and they're awesome. Oh, they're amazing. Does it have honey in it? Potato time. Okay. You have questions for me? Mm -hmm. Okay. We shoot, do. shoot away. All right, let me get these going. Usually our followers are very naughty, so I tried to pick some that weren't super naughty. Mm. They're very naughty people. Really? <laughs> this one, the first one's pretty naughty. Does Jason take a break from killing to fuck a bitch every once in a while? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know what he was getting into when he agreed to this. <laughs> okay. Uh, well. <laughs> Does Jason have I, a significant other? I don't know how to answer. I mean, uh, I mean uh, when we wow, uh, yeah, when we ask Jason, we're talking about the character, right? Not I'm Jason. talking about oh, Jason. Oh, yeah. Jason. Jason. No, character. no, Jason does not have a significant other. Um, he's not like Michael, where he's Michael Myers, where he's after one woman. Um, Jason kills everyone. So, if we're talking about this, I guess Jason would be considered the biggest top block on the <laughs> on the block. Being that anytime anybody starts to have sex in the movie, true, he he's kills gonna get them. True. I mean, you know, for the most part, there's been a couple of times where they've gotten away with it, and, but he, they always end up. He's the cock done. block king. He is 100 percent the cock block king. So mm -hmm. he does not want any kind of sexual activity happening. Well, not on his block. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he so runs really, he's. I would say he's more of a not much of a killer, more of an abstinence guy. He wants to make sure everyone's abstinent. Pretty much, yeah. But he uses extreme measures to make sure they don't do it. Uh, yeah, Jason has never been uh, swayed by any woman so far. Wow. And I just realized that I screwed up on the phone with you the other day. Ooh, mm. Amazing. I was getting Halloween and Jason mixed up mm. when I asked you about uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, was my, that was my bad. I get that a lot. You know, have you got to meet Jamie Lee Curtis? Well, no, I haven't. <laughs> Being that she's another franchise. Wrong movie. <laughs> have those franchises ever collided? Uh, not Michael Myers and not, not Friday the 13th or anything like that. No, no. Mm. I think the last spooky, spooky movie that I actually watched. Well, I saw Boogie, Boogie Man with oh, Daniels. But, Stephen King. Mm -hmm. um, the one that really scared me as a kid was, of course, Nightmare on Elm Street. Like, that oh, was yeah. terrifying. Yep. And I'm old enough to have watched that in the theater. Right. Um, but yeah, not a big big fan of scary. Because, I mean, life is scary enough. So I'm not trying to to life. watch some guy killing me. Life is definitely scary enough. <laughs> well, do you have another question? Yeah, I'm, this one's for James. Okay. This is incredible. These corn bread muffins. Mm. I'm going to try one myself. Mm. Yeah. Does James ever have scary dreams about his own character? I'm, you know what? I'm going to be honest. I have never mm. had a dream about Jason. Wow. About, well, about any character that I've ever played. Uh, I've never had a dream to where I'm being chased or that I'm being killed or anything like that. No, actually, I haven't. And that's a, that's a really good question, actually, because you would think maybe you would. Right. If nothing else, maybe... Um, just dream that you're in character and maybe chasing someone, I, but I've never even had that kind of dream. Do you ever have dreams working on set? 
while you're working? Yes. Now, I have had dreams of actually being on set of a movie, but I've never had a dream of being the actual lead or, or the killer or anything. No, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's I've never been asked that, and that's a good question, because. but I haven't, now, now that I think about it. No, I haven't. I would like to add, if you're okay with it, your your former job. Can, I, can we talk about that? My former job, I was an, uh, yeah, I was a paramedic, a firefighter. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh yep. wow. For a long time. Medic, right? oh, for a long time. Yep. Yep. Uh, so it was it was um, that was a very demanding job. Um, it hmm. took a toll on. It takes a toll on all EMS workers. Oh yeah. Uh, first responders. Uh, first responders are a different breed when it comes to that and um, you know it was time to go though and I'm glad I was, uh, I'm, I'm glad that I got to serve the time that I did but doing what I do now acting and, and stuff like that and it, it's, it's been absolutely amazing was that a dream of yours forever or no actually it wasn't uh, entertaining was a dream of mine you know I've always been an entertainer as far as uh, musical and stuff like that I was musical theater I sang country music for the longest mm -hmm. time uh, so you know I did that uh, and by the way, Jim Clark, the owner of this of Mama's Kitchen, an amazing singer, um, has a CD out, all that. Oh, so, wow. Yep, so he's he's very, very good, too. But, um, yeah, it, it's, I never, no, I wasn't planning on being an actor. I was just an entertainer more so than anything. And when um, I started out, you know, doing some short independent films, uh, just short films, you know, on the side, for some buddies and just having fun with it. Met, you know, you know, in this business you meet people as mm -hmm. you go along. And um, met a couple of people, got an agent, and started putting me in for things. And lo and behold, I thought, man, I can do this. You know, people are hiring me and I'm doing a lot of commercials, I'm doing a lot of, you know, and then, of course, Stranger Things called and I got on that show. and. Oh. And then, um, what did you that. do on Stranger yeah. Things? I was in season three. It was a small part. It wasn't very big or anything. But having that on my resume, it just built me up. So yeah, that's and just I, and huge. I, well, it is huge. And you know, just having that on my resume, you know, really, I think helped me. I mean, I really do. And you know, I, I just had a very small part. I played a paramedic in it, mm -hmm. and uh, got to meet the main cast and hang out with them and work with them and and stuff. And it was it was it was amazing. So, that is awesome. Congratulations. Yep. Yeah. I want to get an agent. I keep, uh, mm -hmm. that was like one of my goals to move here was to get an agent because I'd like to do more acting too. Yep. So James, something that's pretty cool about what, what we're doing here, mm -hmm. Libby's been doing this for a long time. It's actually led to, like, recently she was in the Crystal's commercial. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. That's one of her characters, Carla, right? Was it Carla? Crystal. Or Crystal. Or Crystal. Crystal was in Crystal. Crystal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, her just doing these led to that. And well, the movies. That's what I'm saying. You do things to not only have fun, but you do things to boost your career. And and in this business, you you take what you get. Right. You take what you can get. And so, I'm as you know, I, I I'm not afraid to meet anybody. Mm -hmm. I will walk up. <laughs> to anybody, just like the night we met. Uh huh. Um, we had a great old time oh, that oh my night. God. Yeah, at CMA Fest. You know, and hopefully, you know, we're going to have a lot more. Oh, yeah. We're you getting know. back together on July 1st. We are getting back together. We're going to a concert. First. Yep. So For just, what? A concert. Oh God, me and, me and him is going to a concert here in Nashville. We're not going to say who because it's no. not controversial. Mm -hmm. But we're going to have a good time. Yeah. Um. But this potato salad's awesome. So tell me about when you guys you guys met the other night. What happened? Well, it was weird because uh, Mark Wills actually introduced me to yep. him. Uh, I was down. I had, I had met Mark the Wednesday night of CMA Fest at a charity event that we was at with T.G. Shepard, a uh, bunch of John Snyder, a bunch of country music. Wait a minute. Stuff. John Snyder. Yeah, yeah, John. Yeah. So we was at a country music event and we raised some money. <laughs> you don't care about that, do you? You just care about John Snyder. <laughs> you said it in passing, like he wasn't the first man I ever said I was going to marry at six years old. <laughs> well, Bodu, Bodu, Bodu. So I met him while while I was there. I met um, uh, Mark Wills and. Um, 
told him who I was and everything, and he just, I mean, it was just like, he was a big horror fan, did not know that. We became friends. They asked me to come down the next night, and when I got down there, I was with Mark and them, and they introduced me. Yeah, I joined up, yeah, and, and uh, it was like they told me I was going to meet him. I was excited, and then yeah, found out he was a big fan of me. Mm -hmm. Oh, he wow. fangirled a little bit. And I, I thought the Circle <laughs> really special, honestly. I did. So yeah, now we're. I here. saw him, and I'm going. I know you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> saw him there. It's like it's oh my god, it's crazy. Is it so, too soon for me to start my dessert? All the right. lasagna, incredible. I haven't even tasted the potato salad yet. Let me That's give you a taste. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Potato salad, Jim. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Potato salad, good. And this, all uh, of it, all of it. Bread pudding. Oh my lord! Oh <laughs> my lord! Like Grant, man. You're gonna. Yeah, you're fine. He said that the bread pudding the next day, if you heated up, it tastes like a Krispy Kreme donut. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> oh my god! If you don't come here for anything else, Holy then you can come mackerel. here for this. <laughs> I would drive, the, we drove Jim, 45 minutes to get here. I would drive 45 minutes just for this. Jim makes this, and it's, it's amazing. Whoa. Whoa. I am the man. That is amazing, dude. Is there crack cocaine in this? A little bit. <laughs> Holy, I've never had bread pudding. There it because is. it freaked me out. Mm. Now, this is white chocolate bread pudding. So it's not just any bread pudding. I can't. Oh it's got caramel God. sauce on it. It's well, it's just what what it, what I'm not giving you a recipe. Away. I don't know how you make it. Don't give my recipe away. <laughs> That's a commercial right there for this place. Remind me of Bushy Big Beans. Oh yeah. How many of those Jason masks are there? That one. That's it. Of oh, that one. So they didn't have any replacements in case. No, mm -mm. that's you it. You guys were screwed. If so if you showed yes. up on set, like yeah. I forgot my mask. Oh yeah, I would have been. Oh, I would have been fired. <laughs> but no, it was. Uh, no, well during during the filming, I didn't get to. They I didn't get it. to keep it. Yeah, and I didn't want to keep it. I mean, I really didn't. I wanted wardrobe to have that. Yeah, that would have been a lot of pressure. Oh man. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish there was more of these. But now, I take it everywhere I go. The mask. Just in case? Well, not just in case, because when people find out that I've played the character, they want pictures, mm -hmm. and which is great. I mean, it's, it's, that's what it's all about is the fans. That's the reason I like going to conventions and stuff and being able to sign autographs and and, and, and give them the experience of meeting a Jason. It's, it's amazing. I mean, it's, it's just awesome. When you have the mask on, do you talk? No. So you have to be totally silent like the character? I do. And why doesn't Because that's talk? a respect. I mean, that's a respect thing for me. Not that I couldn't talk with it on. Right. But at the same time, it's like, the character does not Being talk. Being true to the character. The, the people that want pictures with me want the character. Mm -hmm. So I, I give them the character. Right. If they say something to me, I'll look at them. I'll turn my head or something. <laughs> so I'm not going to speak. And then when I take the mask off, then I'll answer the question. But I do that out of respect for the character. That's cool. Mm -hmm. All right. That's a good one. Uh -oh. What does this mask smell like? Ooh, this is a lot lighter than I thought. I mean, the, the leather's heavy, but the actual mask is pretty light. Yeah. Would you like to smell it? Well, well I mean, I'm not going to well, do how it. About you <laughs> how about you describe you it? You said I'm not going to do it. I just want to look at it real quick. Wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, to be able to answer the to be able to answer the question, you gotta smell it. I mean, <laughs> let me give it a good sniff. <laughs> it doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> it has no smell. <clears throat> I was gonna uh, guess it smelled like Old Spice. <laughs> that is very intricate leather work. It, it, it is one hundred percent. This is authentic. So, you know, what's crazy is it looks super old and warm. That's very new. Fits like a glove. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> Maybe he's going to have nightmares tonight. He's going to 
She's so mad that I made her do this now. <laughs> well, you're just so lovely. So the character itself. Let me jump on Facebook here and get some more questions. How does, how does he eat? Because he doesn't have a mouth hole in it. He's a demon. He don't have to eat. <laughs> Is he a demon? Mm -hmm. He's not a, a human? <laughs> See, I, I people are probably going to roast me and be like, don't you know? Like, I legitimately cannot watch these movies. No. He's a demon. He don't eat. So, for some reason, nothing's loading here. I didn't think I wouldn't have service, and I can't get to these questions. Hmm. And these are all live Wi Fi's. What's your favorite dish that's created here besides the bread pudding? Mm. The uh, fried chicken is amazing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Love me some fried chicken. People come here just for the fried chicken. The salmon patties are really good. Uh, there's, there's so many meals that, that he makes that are just amazing. I mean, it just, it's just home cooking. I mean, you, talk, you know, you get people always saying, it's made just like my grandmother, it's made just like my mm -hmm. mom, you know, and that's what you want to hear. And people are very happy. That's the reason we have returning customers every day. Mm -hmm. and, and these people are amazing. Most of, most of all of the people that come in here, they know what it's like. Some, we have first time customers in here all the time. Don't know how to you know, do the cafeteria style kind of thing. You know, you come right. up, you get your tray, tell you what you want, and you go sit down and just eat it and enjoy your meal. You know, so it's 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 a, it's a very good place to to come and eat and relax. And he's always got some kind of like either Christian music going or bluegrass or something like that, just old country or something mm -hmm. like that playing. So it's just kind of a home feel to it. And they have Coke products in here. We do have Coke products, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big Pepsi fan, so anytime I walk in, into a place I see Pepsi, yeah. No. Down two points already. No. <laughs> well, I remember another question from my post. Mm -hmm. Did you ever play pranks on the movie set? Oh, Which absolutely. Other? What was your favorite? Oh, movie? yeah. <laughs> Just uh, scaring people when they wasn't expecting it because you know you go you're in this suit for so long for like ten to twelve hours. Wait, how, you said you wake up to like six hours a day? It de no, not a day. It just because see the mask was made to my face and I just would have to put the mask on. The oh, body okay. suit was made to me. It was just the first time kind of deal when you set set yeah. Got but um, yeah, when they think okay. I shoot my scene, I'm done, I go do something else. They're shooting other scenes or they're setting up for something else. And then I walk up behind people or I come out and, it, and it's oh, just, man. they're not ready for it. And it's just the director, I got him a couple of times. He's just, you know, and, and I'm, I'm six two, so I'm a big guy. And in that suit, I may even be and big, even bigger. Mm -hmm. So it's just when you're coming out in the night, two o'clock in the morning, and you're not expecting, you're already tired, <laughs> and then you turn around and you see this big guy standing in the woods. I mean, it's just, I love or right behind him, or I, <laughs> or I walk up behind you and standing right next to you because. Uh -uh, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> see, I'm a big prankster myself. And I like pranks. And I've had to learn that I have to be very gentle with Libby because yes. I, uh, I traumatize her. And I don't mean to because I'm just trying to be funny, but some people don't like being scared, and Libby's one of them. What? Some people don't like being scared, but I. But that those are the people that I laugh the hardest at. <laughs> and I used to love to go to haunted houses and stuff during Halloween. Yeah. Are you, you going to eat this? No. Can I eat it? Yeah. And I would walk through it like this. So I'm like, why am I paying thirty dollars to? Right. Right. Yeah. And it's it was not fun to me. Like getting like like I, I said, know. life getting, is scary enough. You know, I watch TikTok and reels and all that stuff all the time of people getting scared and I, I just I could literally sit there all day and watch. Yeah, I could watch that. That's it's funny. just so funny, you know, and it's just it's great when you're at the other end of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he loves to pull pranks and scare people. I do too. So it's, it's although great. sometimes what I think are harmless pranks turn into like somebody getting hurt. And yeah, no, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, like that nobody either. getting hurt or anything like that. Or like but, ruining, like somebody drops their phone, a brand new phone, and it, like, shit, you know? Yeah. Oops. Well, his <laughs> sneeze alone, when he sneezes, is so loud and scary <laughs> so loud, that it it literally sets all of us off. Like, I get this <laughs> when I sneeze. It's <laughs> and it's like you know you're going to sneeze. Cover. <laughs> That's hilarious. Put a pillow over your head or something. It's terrifying. It's just like a man all of a sudden screaming. They 
thanks for sitting down and doing this with us. Mm, no, thank you. Yeah. And hopefully we'll make more together. Yeah, that'd be oh, absolutely. Fun. It's yeah. nice sitting in a restaurant instead of the car. I like sitting in the car though. But this is nice sitting like Yeah, this. I mean, this is different. You know, take a break. Different we setup. got some sturdy people. We wouldn't have enough room in the car. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. You'd have to have a big old car. Well, we have the truck today, but we were going to bring my car. And I was like, I can't let him sit in the back seat because I could tell from the pictures that you were tall. Yeah. And my back seat has this much space. So we ended well, up bringing Maggie's truck. I appreciate you guys inviting me in and being a part of your yeah. your world here and doing this. And I put it on. Sure. What if I just morph in? What if, yeah, what if it's like the mask and all of a sudden you're like... <laughs> head turning. <laughs> Have you ever met any of the other guys that have played Jason? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I, I mean, in, in here I got Kane Hodder, CJ Graham, Signature. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I go to con conventions with these guys. Derek Mears, all of these guys. They're great. I mean, Kane Hodder is one of the nicest guys you ever meet. CJ Graham, oh my God, he is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, yeah, these guys are just we're all the same, you know. We're there for the fans. We're there, for, you know, for the character. Do you ever guys? You guys ever have like a guys' weekend where you rent an Airbnb? And we haven't. We yeah. haven't never Everybody done it. We should. Their mask. We should do that. <laughs> <laughs> we should Everybody do that. Just puts a mask on, just stares at each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it would be like it would be like the quietest vacation ever. <laughs> Oh, but that, that's hilarious. That's funny. <laughs> that's so funny. That's and funny. There's a convention coming up in Knoxville soon. It um, is, yeah. Mm -hmm. You going yeah. to that one? Uh, no, I don't think I'm in that one yet. I, I've got I've got several other ones that I'm going to though. So I saw that because um, I'm a big fan of the show Outlander. Oh yeah. And one of the guys from Outlanders going to be there. I just I can't see myself standing in line all day. And yeah. Well, it's been great. So uh, I appreciate this. I do have to thank get back you. to work. So, thank uh, you so much. Yeah, no. Where can people find you? Oh my God, find me all over the place. I'm on TikTok. I'm on uh, Instagram. I'm on Facebook. Um, I have a link tree out there that's that's being posted everywhere. That's got everything on it. All my social media. I'll put your link tree in. The I will send it to you. Yeah, absolutely. I'll send you my link tree. And then people, if you go to my link tree, it's all my social media. It's all my trailers. It's all. It's everything. My IMDb okay. page. Everything is on there. So. Awesome. And that's where people can find me. Um, I have a lot of things coming up. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing things with you, and, and, and yeah, we got we got some really fun things coming up. We got to get him to Nashville. I'm trying. Um, I'm permanent. trying. Yeah, permanently, huh? I'm here often. Yeah, there's a bunch. I, you, I know. There's a bunch of people here in Nashville now. Mm -hmm. So it's a place to be. Nashville. It is Nashville. Yeah. Well, yeah. thanks again, and yep, thanks thank for you. watching our food review. Um, check him out. Don't check out this guy though, because he scares people when he sneezes. <laughs> when he sneezes. That's, that's amazing. See you guys. Bye. Bye, guys.